Hey, welcome back to Kaja's Corner. My name is Norm, and uh, today I'm doing a, a video on my, my place and, and the cheap rent that I have here. Um, as some of you know, I, I did a video before. I wasn't clear whether I said pesos or dollars or whatever, but I only pay about I pay about eight dollars Canadian to live here, so about three hundred pesos a month, and that's I'm basing that basically on the, the current exchange rate now. So it depends. Sometimes it's like seven fifty, sometimes it's eight. But anyways, it's it's not. I'm not trying to brag about about my rent. This is a land lease that we have here, and the whole house I built. Me and my wife built this house here. It cost us about a hundred thousand pesos, so about maybe you know seventeen hundred dollars. I don't know, maybe I don't know. But yeah, so we built one part, and then when we arrived, we built our apartment here, just below it. So yeah, all total about, like I said, seventeen hundred bucks. My place is a little nicer than upstairs. I'll take you on a tour of that here in this video sometime eventually. I don't know when. I never really planned this all out. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, the square footage of my apartment is about 300 square feet. So I'd probably guess it's about the same size of a, an average apartment that you would get in a condo. I'm guessing. I don't know. I can't remember how big they are here. I'm just going to give you the unsanitized version of my place means that you're going to see meaning that what you're going to see is basically just the day in the life my life here I never cleaned up my place for you or anything some days it's clean some days it's very clean other days it's a little dirtier than what you're going to see so I really don't care what people think of me or how I live or whatever that you, know, you can throw whatever you want at me in the comments You'll just get a thumbs up and a and a heart regardless how bad and heartless you are in the comments I don't care So anyways, let's get started. I'm going to show you my place here. We'll just go outside and take it from there So again, this is my place outside here. Like I said, it's a cement cement board structure uh, so it's fire resistant in case the kids decide to play with matches against the side of my house. <laughs> this is the deck that we have outside. Yeah, it might not look nice, but it functions as a deck. And uh, people sit out on it every day. Appearances aren't everything, you know. We're more after comfort than appearances here. And I have a, a latch that I put on my door here because even though I bought a very expensive doorknob and I brought it here from Canada, somehow the mechanism inside has rusted. I'm not sure if a, one of the pins broke. I can't imagine the pin would break because I'm pretty sure all pins with doors are brass. So something broke inside. So I, I can no longer use the key, so I just bought a latch temporarily until I decide what I'm going to do here. This is my place on the inside. It's a little dirty, as I said. I'm just kind of showing you what it's like every day. I do have a child and she brings her friends here. Our place wasn't, hasn't been really cleaned up too much this morning here. It's, I think it's about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. This is the laundry we did like four days ago. We still haven't put it away. I don't know why. Just. I've been sick for the last couple of days, so I know why for me, but anyways, <laughs> my wife will deal with it eventually. So this is our kitchen here, just basic, everything. We don't have a fridge because we buy everything fresh. Um, yeah, so <laughs> on the days that I don't have meat, well, I mean, we have eggs every day, we usually buy 36 eggs, eggs that last us a week. Um, I do have protein powder because I still like to have my protein every day, so at every meal. Plus I also have my, my beans here that I add to my rice every day. 
But yeah, everything we have here, it's very basic. So that's it for that, the kitchen part there. This is the bathroom here. Um, this, I needed to have a more of a Western style bathroom. This is a five by nine bathroom. Uh, since we had an apartment next door, they, I gave them the power off of here. I don't really care. It's not really allowed in Canada to have the receptacle without a GFI by the sink, but no one really uses the electric anyways in the bathroom. That's the window in our bathroom. This is our shower. It's everything you can see, it's all good. I'm all happy with it. It's very comfortable for me. Most expats, I'm sure, would enjoy to have a bathroom that size. I'm sure there's a lot of them that don't. I don't have hot water here. I don't have hot water here, but you know, the thing is, is I got, you can see outside, the water lines run around all outside here. They're all on the ground, you see. Oh, wait. Not that one, that's just a broken piece of pipe. I just don't know where that came from. Just a coinky dink. But yeah, you can see the water lines are running on the ground. So, yeah, so all I can say with that is that, you know, I might not have hot water, but during the day, the sun beating down on that pipe, yeah, she's pretty warm. A little hot. I never really liked to have hot showers anyways. I was kind of always a, a cold shower guy, so. That never really bothered bothered me, but of course, you know, there's always the, the princess that absolutely has to have hot water for his, for his or her shower, but to each his own, I don't care. And uh, this is our, uh, <laughs> this is our living room, office, closet, this is a multifunctional room. This is our toy box down here. Toy boxes, toy box. One toy box, sorry, one toy box, three storage boxes. And we put them together, it makes a bed. This is, this is the wife and Atti and Geisy and everybody's laying down watching uh, Home Alone. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Uh, that's also my uh, piano desk. So inside there somewhere is my piano. I have a desktop computer because desktop computers are very cheap, about one third the price of a laptop with about twice as much power as, as most laptops. Yeah. Sorry, I had to go back in here. But yeah, that's a, that's like a Murphy style bed. It folds down, folds up. And there's a bed behind there that's my daughter's bed. And of course there's storage behind the bed. Anyways, I'll turn the light back off here. All right, so I'll take you upstairs here. You can have a look upstairs. These are the stairs that I refuse to fix because there are other people here that are younger than me, that work in construction, and they can fix it. I'm not doing this kind of crap for people here. You know, I don't live up here. <laughs> My father-in-law lives up here. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that we had a back door, I'd probably feel pressured to do this because just out of respect, I'd prefer my father be comfortable moving around the house in and out. He's got a bad hip. Or knee, I think, I can't remember, it's like me falling apart. And this is the floor up here. It's kind of getting a little busted up bamboo floor. I kind of like it, it's airy, but uh, yeah, I don't know why they don't take the time to fix it. That's my father-in-law. He's taking care of the baby here. Jemson. Oh. His mom is working in Dubai. This is the upstairs. Uh, just let you know that the roof is very low in here, so 
you're like me, five foot nine, you can only walk maybe about four foot out here before you scrape your head. All right, so I'll take you upstairs here. You can have a look upstairs. <laughs> These are the stairs that I refuse to fix because there are other people here that are younger than me, that work in construction, and they can fix it. I'm not doing this kind of crap for people here. You know, I don't live up here. <laughs> My father-in-law lives up here. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that we had a back door, I'd probably feel pressured to do this because just out of respect, I'd prefer my father be comfortable moving around the house in and out. He's got a bad hip or knee, I think. I can't remember. He's like me falling apart. And this is the floor up here. It's kind of getting a little busted up bamboo floor. I kind of like it. It's airy, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know why they don't take the time to fix it. That's my father-in-law. He's taking care of the baby here. Jimson. Oh, his mom is working in Dubai. This is the upstairs. Uh, just let you know that the roof is very low in here. So if you're like me, five foot nine, you can only walk maybe about four foot out here before you scrape your head. Everybody else is here is probably about three inches shorter than me. So this is the upstairs. This was built first. And actually only one half of this was built. And then they extended it after about a year. These are the, the bedrooms they added on. Anyways, when I first arrived, this is where I lived. Um, this bed wasn't here. There was actually a kind of like a, a couch thing here sitting down here. And um, this was uh, this was our room here, a Merry Christmas room. Uh, me and my wife and child stayed there. This is the washer that we bought here. Um, if you plan to bring anything from America, if you bring any kind of metal appliance here from the U.S. or Canada or wherever, you know the thing will rust out in no time. Even here, I've, I've seen some people here that, you know, bought stuff here. I don't know whether where it came from, but I couldn't identify it as, you know, the brand. But, yeah, I've seen all the fancy brands all rusting out, sitting outside the places after a couple of years. And this is the upstairs, their stove. I pay, take it the bottom one is broken now. That's why they have this yellow burner on the top. And this is the dishwasher down here. Clothes washer, I should say, clothes tub. Everybody does their laundry. <coughs> and, uh, and the back door, that's securely locked. <laughs> when I first arrived here, yeah, uh, this was my, this is where we had our, our shower here. Now the ceiling here is very low. So when I step in there, I have to actually bend my head. So it's very uncomfortable. Well, you can see this is just me standing outside of the shower here. And there's only maybe like a, maybe a, a three inch step down. So yeah. And of course the roof slopes inside here. So yeah, lots of times when I was down there, I would crack my head Crack my head going in, crack my head going out. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I even got a small cut on my head one time. I can't remember if it was a nail or what it was that I hit, but it was dark at the time. So I don't know what it was. But yeah, and uh, this turned out to be somewhat of a, a communal neighborhood shower here with some people living next door to us, I guess, for some reason they didn't have one, or I can't remember the reason, but I didn't care, you know. I was all right with it. Water's cheap here. All right, so I'm back downstairs now. So yeah, the, the bathroom upstairs was a, was a little uncomfortable for me. And um, yeah, when I first arrived, 
I didn't really care. I didn't really care about the appearance. It didn't really bother me. I know it would bother a lot of people, you know, because they're so used to, you know, shiny, clean, painted surfaces, you know, that it's not, they don't see it as a practical thing, you know what I mean? It, they're looking to have a shower in, how did I say in my last video? Ambience. <laughs> Everything has to look a certain way before they'll engage with it, I guess. <laughs> That's what's happened with our lives. Nobody thinks practical anymore. But yeah, and the only reason I built the bathroom that I did is because I like to have some sort of comfort, you know. I wanted to have that little taste of home. And like I said, that bathroom's a little bit bigger than most bathrooms in the Philippines, even in condos that you find. You know, before you come here, you should make sure you know what you're getting yourself into, you know. Get your girlfriend to take some video of the place that you're coming to, especially the bathroom, because most people I know would find that disgusting, you know, having to use a bathroom, you know, that they're not comfortable with. But anyways, you know, it was very easy for me to do that because, like I said in a couple of earlier videos, that, you know, I grew up in a very simple life. Also, I also I traveled. In China, they don't have toilets. Most places, they have squat toilets. Apparently, they did have them here in the Philippines, I've been told, but I've never come across one. Though I have seen them in couple of hardware stores that you can buy them. So yeah, it's uh, something to think about, you know, and uh, you can find cheap rent here. Like I said, leasing is probably the cheapest you can get, you know, if you're on a budget, you know. I just took advantage of it because of the fact that, you know, I can invest my money in other places. Anyways, like I was saying earlier in this video, I wasn't really trying to brag about my cheap rent here. I mean, it is easy. I've done another video where you can find cheap rentals, you don't have to find lease land, but, you know, you can find apartments, very small apartments that are very cheap, affordable, you know, and safe. It might not, might not seem safe to you because you're just not used to the surroundings, you know what I mean? But, yeah, it's easy to find cheap rental property, you know, and get, if you can find a, a, you know, a farmer that will lease you some land, yeah, you can build yourself a sweet little house on that land. Anyways, my name is Norm. This is Gorgeous Corner. Subscribe if you like my video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace out.